According to the executive director of the Energy Storage Association, Matt Roberts, energy storage is changing the paradigm of how we generate, distribute and use energy. As bold a statement as that is, it's not unreasonable to suggest that last year was a breakout year for technology. Talk about often vague and unnecessarily technical terms, investors have struggled to get a firm handle on what this game changer of innovation means for the energy landscape. The electric grid is based on a 100-year-old technology that is inflexible and in need of considerable upgrades. Energy storage touches every part of the electric system and in doing so changes the paradigm and provides value to every stakeholder. The market for these technologies is on course to almost double in the next decade and investment in thermal energy storage, batteries, compressed air, molten salt, flywheels and a load of other advanced technologies is set to explode. In the US alone, energy storage capacity in 2016 grew by 242%, eclipsing the previous two years combined, and investments in energy storage reached over $400 million. The emergence of new energy startups like STEM, Green Charge Network, etc., and not to mention household names like Tesla and G, have given observers good reason to feel optimistic. If successful, improvements in energy storage technology could render petrol tanks redundant, and the benefits could extend to every part of the value chain. Already, the utilities sector is partway through its biggest change in a century, and so too are the capital markets that serve it. The gathering competitiveness and complexity of renewables also means that energy companies can ill afford to ignore enabling technologies like storage that not only facilitate renewables penetration, but also give it a more decentralised system of generation. According to Ernst & Young's Renewable Energy Countryness Attractions Index, utilities must redefine and immediately their business propositions if they are to survive in a more decentralised landscape and serve the emerging class of producer-consumers. Utilities and grid operators in particular support energy storage as a more cost-effective and flexible solution for non-traditional energy technologies. At the distributed scale, energy storage allows more effective load control and reliability benefits, creating a more responsive and resilient grid. Because it provides value at every scale, energy storage is a critical facet of a smarter grid and its flexibility accelerates our deployment of clean technologies like wind and solar. More generally, the decline in battery prices and the emergence of government incentives to support energy storage systems also means utilities and energy companies more generally are ploughing investment into such technologies. In short, the challenge that energy solutions are seeking to address is one of intermittency and the ability to store energy in times of plenty, supplying it in times of scarcity, and this is a crucial part of the renewables equation. Energy storage can create a more flexible and efficient grid and drive renewable growth in two major ways. First, consistent output makes it easier to interconnect renewables, and secondly, energy storage reduces the need amongst utilities for capital intensive investments in inefficient systems. Storage is not deconstructing centralised systems of electricity generation, although this is not to say that the development of these technologies is any less revolutionary. Changing the paradigm of how we generate, distribute and use energy with a better description, although questions remain as to whether these technologies can generate consistent returns. A couple of years ago, Tesla unveiled Tesla Energy. They described it as a suite of batteries for homes, businesses and utilities that are looking to foster a clean energy ecosystem and help wean the world off fossil fuels. Some, however, saw the gamble on residential level installations as a short-sighted one. For example, 90% of the energy storage capacity installed over the last few years has been bought by utilities, and the number of commercial and industrial owners equates to just 1%. The advent of storage technologies, in particular on the commercial and residential front, will take time. According to Moody's, incremental improvements in existing battery technologies mean costs have fallen somewhere between 50% over the last five years. A Lazar's report shows that advances in storage technologies offer no signs of abating in the next five years, and they indicate they get to the point where they displace gas-fired capacity. Frost and Sullivan's data show that globally the market for utility-scale grid-connected storage amounted to $460 million in 2014, and they forecast it will reach $8.3 billion before 2025. While the monetary worth of the home storage market is significantly lower, its growth is rising fast. Research indicates that almost 14,000 battery units were installed in the first nine months of 2015, and that was at double the rate that we saw in 2014. While the latest numbers from Tesla indicate they installed almost 30,000 battery units in 2016. Surely the energy storage technology that features most heavily on investors' radar is the lithium-ion battery, which without a doubt receives the largest share of investment and will remain the dominant 
platform of battery storage for at least the next few years. The ability to power consumer electronics and electric cars for longer has created a significant lead ahead of their rival technologies. However, they don't come cheap. As Brett Simon, an energy storage analyst, suggested, in terms of technology right now, the US energy storage market is dominated by lithium-ion batteries, and they can provide both short and medium-term duration services. Furthermore, lithium-ion batteries have undergone a massive cost reduction in the last few years, driven in part by consumer electronics and also by the automotive industry. Molten salt, lead acid and flow batteries are likewise giving utility companies reason to invest. Across the spectrum, companies like Panasonic, Samsung, Tesla, GE and a string of major companies are clamouring for a slice of the pie, and their investments are ushering in many of the most impressive new developments. Energy storage is not one technology, it's a way of applying technology. Whether you utilize for generation, distribution or even load, the ability to store energy is inherently valuable, and this allows utilities to focus on new alternatives. When you can store energy, it changes the way that you plan the system. It impacts every facet of integrated resource planning, and it looks like it will revolutionize the energy landscape.